this is Jill from Paper Daisy Crafting. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've got a little bit of a different video for you today. Not a project, not a tutorial, but I'm going to show you my haul from the um, mini catalogue, the new mini catalogue. So we've got a new catalogue coming out to customers on the 3rd of August. As a demos, we've been able to have a sneak peek at it and order a few products. Um, the catalogue was meant to be from July to December, but because of all the hold-ups in the Suez Canal, a lot of the products were held up, so Stampin' Up! made the decision to hold it off until August, so it's coming out in August. I'm not allowed to show you the inside of the catalogue. All I can tell you is that you won't want to miss it. Lots of lovely products in there. Um, and if you'd like a copy, just let me know and I'll pop one in the post to you. And along with it, I will also send you a copy of our celebration um, brochure, which means that if you spend £45 on anything in any of our catalogues, anything on the website, any of the kits and things, you can choose free products. I can't show you. So if you spend up to 45, there's several things you can choose. 90 pounds if you spend 90 pounds there's a couple of things that you need to spend 90 pounds to get but really worth it and who doesn't like a freebie especially in the run-up to christmas so don't forget to um let me know if you need copies of the catalogue and the celebration catalogue the celebration runs from the 3rd of august to the 30th of september so not for the whole life of the catalogue right what am i going to show you first i'm going to show you my favorite product from the new catalogue and you're going to be quite surprised because this is my favourite product. This is called Penguin Place Bundle. It's a punch and a stamp set. And I just think it's really, really cute. Really, really love it. Um, I love um, all the different elements in the stamp set. You've got a little hat to put on him, some Christmas trees, some antlers, a scarf, presents, balloon. I've seen there's a really nice sample in the catalogue that's not a Christmas card at all. You've got a happy birthday greeting. These are quite sweet, these little greetings up here as well. Um, and then down here you've got all uh, lots of little, you've got the beaks and eyes and feet, a little star, a little heart. Just gorgeous. I think it's really lovely. And of course with a punch it just won me over. I haven't stamped anything from the stamp set yet apart from the eyes and the beaks. But I have made, I'm just going to move this out of the way, a couple of penguins there we go Th that's done with the punch so I punched out in black the bigger image punched out in white the smaller image and in orange the feet which depends it to, to, um, whichever way you put the feet you get a different look so if you put them behind and pointing down it makes him look like he's standing you put him in front and pointing up it makes him look like he's sitting so easy to do so great um, I need to experiment a bit more with where to place the eyes and the, the beak but I'm so impressed with that and I'm going to have lots of fun and there's some nice samples in the catalogue but I've got lots of ideas as well now next I'm going to show you a set of dies that I got there's a stamp set to go with this set it's called gingerbread and peppermint there is a stamp set that goes with it called I think oh these are called the gingerbread dies I think and then the stamp set is called gingerbread and peppermint um, but I really love it and um, I'm going to show you some some of the samples that I've just I've um, die cut already really really pretty so you get these outline dies and then you get the infill ones these little filigree dies to go on top and they're so so pretty I love that star that's going to get a lot of use. Love the snowflake. And you could use this on its own. You wouldn't have to use this with the background, but of course you could. Another another snowflake to add to my collection. Um, a bell. And I love this bauble, this um, ornament. I think that's really pretty. Let me show you them cut out. Oh, you get these as well. Now, I'm only assuming, because it's called gingerbread and, and peppermint, I'm assuming that these are meant to be gingerbread shapes, a bit like cookies. And these are peppermints. Now, we don't really have these kind of sweets in the UK, or not that I've seen. Um, they might be creeping over from the US now. But um, I don't know that I'm going to be using them an awful lot. So let me just do this. So I've cut some out. You get a lot of circles. You get a lot of different circle sizes. And a lot of these different size sort of pinwheels to go inside them. Um, so I'm not sure. Anyway... So um, let me show you. So I've cut out all the outlines. And then I've cut out the filigree and they'd really bring it to life. Really, really gorgeous. Really love them. 
So I've done them in real red and very vanilla here, but I can think of lots of other colour schemes where they'd look really fab. The other thing that's in the die set that, I, that I've cut, die cut is a border. How pretty is that? That's such a pretty border. It doesn't necessarily have to be just for Christmas. I think that's so lovely. And that's long enough to do a, a standard A6 card, if not a bit too long. So that's um, the gingerbread dies from the gingerbread and peppermint suite. And then I also bought another set of dies, which also has a stamp set to go with it. I didn't buy the stamp set. I just bought the dies. And it's this one. This, these lots more snowflakes. I know a lot of you might be saying, oh, not more snowflakes. I'm just, I'm a, I'm a snowflake girl and I love them. And I love the fact that these were stitched. There's something a bit different not seen before. Some of them just leave an embossing on the card and some of them actually cut. And I'm going to show you because I have actually cut them out. Um, so I'm going to bring in a black background here to show you. Right, first of all, now I'm wondering how well you can see that. Can you see? Let me have a look. Does that? Oh, yes, you can. Yeah. So that's a really lovely. That's um, cut with the with this die. Not cut, actually, just embossed. Really lovely. I love all these little snowflakey shapes. Really pretty. So that's great. And then you can get five, five or six, I think, five, I think, different size, different types of snowflakes that have all got stitching detail on them. I hope you can see that on the camera, but they've all got stitching on them, which makes it just a little bit more special than I've got some snowflake dies, but nothing like this. Um, so I'm really looking forward to using those as well. And then you've got these outline shapes, which cut a shape and then have a stitched border around the outside. Now I've done these in two colours. I've done them in white on here so that you can see the stitching around. And then I've also done them in misty moonlight so that you can see. These are the die cut shapes that come out of them. So you could use them as well. Some of these other snowflakes will layer onto there. So you could layer, that's a bit small that one, but you get the idea to try that one. This one, they won't fit exactly, but they will give a nice, so if I move that onto there, can you see that? Put that there. That will give a background to your snowflake. So you can do all sorts of layering possibilities here. Um, and then, so those are the other outline shapes that have cut out of those. And then we've got all these dies that just cut this stitching. It's really pretty. And what you could do is have, well, let's try the blue one first. So there's your misty moonlight border, but that will then frame this die cut um, snowflake. How pretty is that? that gorgeous you do that in misty moonlight or you could do white on white you could use white and silver white and gray i'm thinking of all sorts of color schemes you could do. look how pretty that is really pretty in just white lovely and then you've got different ones that go inside so in this one we've got a different die cut like so and then in this one another different die cut so it's not a die cut, it's, it's just like an embossing. It just cuts bits of the paper, but not, not all the way through. So I'm really happy with those stitched snowflakes and looking forward to getting to grips with those and using those a bit. So those are my stitched snowflakes. Um, so I've showed you my dies and I've showed you my stitched snowflakes. What should I show you next? Right, okay. I, got, I bought another stamp set. I didn't buy many stamp sets. I only bought two, actually. I bought the penguins and I bought this one. And this is called Little Delights. And I just thought this is a really, really great set for me to use with my beginner series. It's got a lot of greetings. Merry Christmas, birthday wishes. You're such a blessing. Trick or treat. Thank you. So at least four of those I will use. I probably use, I might do, I don't normally do Halloween, but I just think that'd be a lovely, simple Halloween card. Trick or treat and then some bats. Done. Love these sort of scrolly um, fonts that they've used. We've got a birthday hat, got a light bulb, got some autumn leaves, got some bats and got, I think that's probably mistletoe, don't you think, for Christmas? So I thought that was a really useful set as well. So that's photopolymer. 
can't remember how much it is and I don't think I've written it down sorry um but not an ex I think it's 15 pounds or something like that I think it's relatively cheap right what else did I buy I bought this this is gorgeous holly border punch I'm just going to grab a piece of A4 of, with a basic white card to show you so just is really great I'm going to do it this way around so just put it in and then uh, be careful you don't catch your things. It's quite, it's a lot to pin punch. Oh, I didn't go very well. Fell out. Let's try again. Obviously didn't push it right in or else it fell out when I turned it over. Let's make sure I'm grabbing it this time. It's better. There. Oh, still didn't go in. What am I doing wrong? Let's try one more this side. Maybe I'll have it this down here. I have used this and I've used it perfectly well. Right, that's it. There we go. That's what we needed. Got all these holly leaves and berries if you wanted to use them separately as well. The card that I made with these, you might have seen on my blog, if I can find it quickly. It, um, which I can't. Mm, no, I don't know where it is. What have I done with it? No, I don't know. It's there somewhere. I don't know where it is. Um, but I used these and I infilled them back in with a different colour, which was quite nice. But that's quite nice because you can then line it up and have a whole border going down a page or something. So I'm quite impressed with that. I really love that. And the fact that you get all these... Where's my black background again? All these leaves and berries that you're going to be able to... If you've got patience, you can glue them back on and use them separately for things would be really nice um so that's my other punch so i have two punches two stamp sets two two die sets was what i got from the catalog i then got two ribbons so i'm going to show you those now didn't go mad on ribbons i bought this beautiful beautiful again i'm going to bring in the black background white or or oh, look at me I'm covered in little white spots um organdy ribbon glittered organdy ribbon i don't know if you can see that catching the light it's absolutely beautiful really lovely and if it doesn't get used on cards i will use it on my gifts to my family um this year to make pretty up the, the gifts really really pretty nice width and nice and thin so nice to tie a bow with as well quite flexible not i don't really like a stiff ribbon that's too difficult to tie and then the other one we bought which we i didn't buy i'm saying we because jez and i always do a a share so we buy stuff and we share it so we don't it doesn't cost us quite as much so i've got half of half of the real ribbon of each of these because jez and i shared them um and this is um take that away now um the black and white gingham ribbon and again it's really lovely it's really flexible it'll tie a lovely bow and i think it doesn't need to just be halloween it's on the halloween page but i think that'll be great for a lot of projects um and i do like a monochrome look so i'm looking forward to using that what else did i get oh got some craft paper so i've done that i've done the glittered ribbon i'm just ticking off the things that i've done so that i don't black and white ribbon i've done don't forget anything right i've got this which is craft paper it's called it craft paper but it's actually quite thick so it's more like card gorgeous gorgeous really lovely craft card been desperate to have some of that in the catalogue um, and i think it'll look really nice with these gingerbready shapes i think that will look really lovely um really looking forward i think red red and red and cream and craft really nice color scheme looking forward to using that and i think now uh, how many have i got i've got quite a lot actually so there must be one two three four one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i think there must be 24 in a pack or 20 in a pack because i seem to have quite a lot of that's a half share from jez i've got quite a lot and then lastly from the main catalogue or apart from dsp i've got these which are called wonderful snowflakes now i've just popped one out just to show you more sl snowflakes i'm afraid yes i'm over on over overdosing on snowflakes this year these are iridescent they go with the whimsy and wonder suite in the catalogue i'm going to show you some dsp in a minute um but really pretty and i think you've got 24 so i've got 12 of those to use so those are really gorgeous as well so that's all from the catalogue, apart from the DSP, as I say. So I'm now going to bring in 
Now there's a lot of DSP to get through. The first set is called Painted Christmas, which is here. And the colours in it are Calypso Coral, Cherry Cobbler, Crumb Cake, Early Espresso, Evening Evergreen, Garden Green, Pear Pizzazz, Real Red, Soft Sea Foam and Soft Succulent. Probably practically every green in our catalogue um, by the looks of it. And so I'm just going to do a quick whiz through and show you these papers. They're really gorgeous and they've got that lovely hand watercoloured look to them. Lovely, very Christmassy. Love this in soft sea foam, holly design. And then that one's a bit busy for me on the back, but I, luckily I like that side. That one, fir cones, love the fir cones. Love these leaves, not just for Christmas, that would make a lovely springtime card. And then with the pine. Um, not quite sure what that's meant to be, baubles do you think? And then that one bit of red and green so I like that pack a lot you'd get double that amount in the pack like I said Jez and I have shared these so we've just got one of each sheet from each pack rather than two the next one is this is my favorite set from the catalogue it's called whimsy and wonder I really love this alternative um, Christmas color scheme it's um, don't have the thing here it's um, blushing bride um is it mint macaron i want to say and misty moonlight i think um but really really pretty and it's got this iridescent i'm hoping i'm catching the light with that got this iridescent foiling on it which is absolutely beautiful so they're all foiled on one side and much plainer but i love this these little trees on here those are gorgeous misty moonlight love that one um, this one is just a stripey with that iridescent stripe, absolutely gorgeous. And then, oh, you know me, I love a dotty paper, love a dotty paper. This one with the parcels, really pretty. Imagine you could cut these out and pile these up on a card, make hundreds of cards like that, really lovely. And then, oh, and this is quite sweet as well, holly with pink berries on the back. I quite like that colour scheme. This one is gorgeous. This is There's a stamp set very similar to this in the catalogue. I didn't buy the stamp set, but I do love this. And again, got that gorgeous iridescent um, um, foiling on there and lovely sort of trendy trees, I would say. And then gorge, oh, gorgeous on the back as well. That lovely, I love that piece. Like this one, this holly with the pink berries. I love the colours in this and I love the iridescence. And yeah, not quite so keen on that. It's a bit too pink in your face, but this side will get used a lot. And then this one, love, love, love. More snowflakes, I'm afraid, but look how gorgeous they are and how shiny they are. Absolutely lovely. Whimsy and Wonder DSP. That's called. That's £14 because that's a speciality pack. And another speciality pack is the Peaceful, what's it called? Peaceful something. Peaceful Place. And again, these have got silver foiling on them and I'm hoping I can catch that in the light under the camera. Really gorgeous. You could use this bit for something separate and then just use this for a card front would be absolutely gorgeous and then on the back we've got some much more subtle gray images that's gorgeous that one love it um this was lovely this this i can just see cutting up making some card fronts six cards wham bam thank you ma'am and again a lovely gray very neutral background again this is gorgeous it's got lovely foiling on it again not for christmas not just for christmas this one and then that's um Reminiscent of one of the stamp sets in the in the catalogue, Peaceful Place. Not so keen on that, but I love that side. Very nice for men's cards, I think. This is um, kind of bark or wood, wood, wood texture. And then like these trees on this side. I think that's very pretty. And then this one, probably my favourite, these tiny little snowflakes with a bit of silver, very subtle silver foiling on there. And then a kind of gingham on the back, which again is always good to have and then this one lovely again you could make a lovely square card four square cards just by cutting these out and adding a christmas greeting no problem and then a subtle one so love that paper that's 14 pounds a pack as well because that's a speciality one 
I will be doing a paper share. So if you want, if you're interested in a paper share of these papers from the um, new mini catalog, do give me a shout because um, it's only worth me doing if I have enough interest. Um, so just let me know if you no commitment at the moment, but just let me know if you'd be if you're interested. Um, and then this one is called Blackberry Beauty. It's got Blackberry Bliss running through it with gold foiling. Um, Jez wanted this one. I have to admit, Blackberry Bliss is one of her favourite colours. It's not one of mine. But I have to admit, I do quite like this paper. And it's not too Christmassy. It's a bit more autumn um, related. So I think that will be really nice. And I love the gold foiling on here. So we've got leaves, gold leaves and foliage. And then a very subtle, makes your eyes go funny, that pattern, actually. Um, this one it's got birds with some gold foiling on and then blackberry bliss and probably i don't know if that's just a lighter blackberry bliss or polished pink on there um, love this autumn design this is gorgeous very nice for autumn leaf designs and then this one quite like this one as well although it's not my favorite color i think this is cinnamon cider it's one of my least used colors but that's quite nice actually it's very subtle um, this one again just so easy cut make some cards add a add a greeting wham bam all done lovely and again oh, i love this but i love the back of this this um holly design really pretty actually i don't think it is holly i think it's meant to be thistles but i think it's reminiscent enough of holly that you could get away with it and then this one oh two more this one Again, Blackberry Bliss with gold foiling. Very busy, that one, but how luxurious that is. And then nice plain pattern on the back. And then this one, I'm not so keen on the owls, I have to say. It just makes me think of Harry Potter, really. Um, so I don't think I'd be using that side, but I probably would use that side quite like that. So that's Blackberry Beauty. And I think that is every... Oh, no, I've got one more set, one more pack from the annual, from the mini catalogue. Um, which is goes with the gingerbread and peppermint um, dyes that I showed you. This is called Ginger and Peppermint DSP. And I'm just, it's a six by six set. I'm just going to quickly whiz through them. Very traditional red and green, red, white and green with a bit of craft. So there's that one and that one. That one just look like cookies. And that one. I love a stripe. Love, love, love a stripe. So these will get well used. So these are these sweets again. So someone in America, can you can you just message on the put a message on the video? Tell me what they're all about because we I really don't get it being British. So so lots of images here that you can die cut with the dyes and use. I quite like this one. It's got these little tiny pinwheels on. That's quite sweet. And then like an iced biscuit on the back. Love a dot. Love a polka dot. And again, scrolls of icing. Love this red one. I think that's very Christmassy. And again, and again, shapes that you can die cut. Not the mittens, but the stars, certainly. Um, so that is all out of the annual catalogue. But because we ordered so much, we got some free items from Celebration. So I'm going to just quickly show you those. Um, otherwise, this video is going to go on forever. Now, one of the items in the in the um, in celebration is this beautiful, beautiful bee dazzling paper. It's kind of a champagne colour, and it's can you see how shiny that is? It's going to make the most gorgeous Christmas cards. Um, it's quite it reminds me a bit of a glitter ball, you know, like they have in discos, or a boob sort of a boob tube that you used to have that was made of sort of um, lurex. Really gorgeous, and I think you get eight sheets of that, so we've got four each, Jez and I. Um, and then there is some black and white paper. You know me, I love a black and white paper called hand. Beautifully penned, not hand penned, but it goes with the hand penned suite from the annual catalogue. Quickly, so these are free, remember. The Bee Dazzling was free. This is free with a spend of £45. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Black and white papers. Love a stripe. Like this, can see this being coloured really nicely. Really gorgeous. So those are free from Celebration. And then this one, which is going to be the hit of celebration, I think. This is paper that goes with the Penguin Place um, bundle. 
So we've got lots of papers with penguins, polar bears and foxes on one side and then very, very subtle, smaller designs on the other. Love this design. Seen lots of cards already made, people cutting out these figures, making cards with them. And a stripe, love a stripe. Snowmen on here and then penguin with his little hat and scarf, which are part of what you get in the stamp set as well. Oh, lovely stripe there. Again, this one I think will cut out with the punch. So if I just, yeah, if I layer that on there, these penguins will cut, will punch out with the punch. And very nice green um, background on there. I'm trying to think what that is. It's just jade, I think. Must be. Again, smaller images, but really lovely. And a nice dotty background i think this is going to sell out so i think if you're ordering and you want this i think this should be the first thing that you pick if you want it and lovely that love this soft sea foam christmas trees so that is a real hit with me i love that oh here we go oh no it's going to say that that's um the colors but it's the next set the next set is probably my least favorite from all of them this is another free set from celebration I've used a little bit of it already on one of my cards that I showed you the other day. So I'll just quickly whiz through. This one's green on both sides, trees and dots. Then we've got a deer. This, this coordinates with um, a product in the catalogue. We've got a punch coming with the deer. And then a black and red gingham. I think it's the colour scheme I'm not too keen on. I quite like this. And actually, actually I quite like this, although it's a bit non nondescript really. Um, this I love and I quite like this as well although red is not a colour I would normally use with snowflakes quite like it quite like this as a nice gentle background and again snowflakes in green not sure love this one in crumb cake gorgeous deers on one side nice check on the other and I think that is all I've got to show you just let me check my list whichever wherever I put it Peaceful Prince. Yes, I've done it all. OK, so I hope you've enjoyed watching my little um, haul from the catalogues. Um, I spent more than I meant to, but I haven't gone extra mad at the moment. I'm going to try and contain it because there's only a certain amount of Christmas cards I need to make. And I've got enough DSP there to last me till probably next Christmas. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed watching that. Please come back soon and watch what I make with these products. Um, just press the subscribe if you haven't already so you can see what I've been what I'm up to um, or click to my blog I put all my videos on my blog so if you go to my blog there's a big green button that says follow this blog at the bottom and you can um, just click that and then you'll get a notification every time I um, post anything thanks so much for watching I hope you have a lovely day I'll be back again with you very very soon bye for now